Change your questions, change your life. Questions control our entire reality because they change what we focus on. And most of the time, unfortunately, we ask ourselves disempowering questions on autopilot. We don't even notice it because it's become so ingrained in us that we don't, it just happens automatically. For example, because thinking is all just the process of asking ourselves questions and answering them in our minds. And unfortunately, most of the time we ask ourselves disempowering questions on a daily basis. For example, you may have heard yourself ask, asking yourself, and I know I have, these are questions that I asked myself for a long time. And I realized how destructive they were. I would ask myself like, oh my gosh, like why can I never run Facebook ads profitably? Why does this always, why does this never work for me? Why do I always fail at this? How come everyone is succeeding but me? I asked myself this, I would ask myself these questions over and over and over again. And I would just feel so terrible. It's just, it felt like there was nothing I could do, you know? And so we have to change our questions because questions, whatever questions you ask yourself, you will surely get an answer. Your brain will always find an answer, even if it has to make something up. So make sure the questions you ask yourself are empowering. And I'll go into that more in a minute, but you have to control your questions. You have to be aware of the questions you're asking yourself now, and you have to change them if they're disempowering, because most of the time, like I said, we ask ourselves disempowering questions, and that shapes our identity. That shapes who we believe we are. And your identity is, like I said, it's a collection of beliefs about who you are. Whatever words you attach I am to, I am a failure, I am not good enough, I am unloved, I am confident, I am happy. Whatever you attach the words I am to will ultimately, you will become that eventually. With enough repetition, whatever you say to yourself over and over again with intensity, that will ultimately become who you are. So for example, about this is about identity. If I asked you, for example, hey, would you like a cigarette? You wouldn't ask what brand is it? No, you would say, I'm not a smoker. I'm not one of those. And so identity controls our entire life. And the questions you ask yourselves over and over again, ultimately changes your identity. And because we ask ourselves disempowering questions most of the time, our identity is one of defeat. Our identity is one of we, we think that we're a weak person. We think that, oh, we're not good enough. We can't amount to anything in our lives. And unfortunately, that's what a lot of people feel in their life. They feel like no matter what they do, they can't do anything right. And that's because it all starts with the questions that you ask yourself. If you change your questions, you change the beliefs about yourself, you change your identity, you make it more empowering. So that way you can have the quality of life that you desire and you deserve. So here's how you change your questions. You first have to be aware of the questions you're already asking yourself. Just notice in your mind, the chatter in our mind. We all know that voice in our head. Just notice what you're saying to yourself. What are the thoughts coming in your mind? Because the thoughts usually are, as, are a result of questions that you ask yourself. So just notice that. Notice that over the next few minutes. You can pause this video. Just notice the thoughts that you're having or the thoughts while you're watching this video. And so that would... So when you notice those, then you'll be able to replace them with more empowering ones if they're disempowering already. And so some questions you can ask yourself that are empowering are, for example, like in Tony Robbins' book, Awakening the Giant Within, he, ha he has this whole list of questions called morning power questions. And you can ask yourself, what am I happy about in my life right now? And if your brain says nothing, <laughs> then say, okay, well, what could I be happy about? in my life if I really wanted to right now? What could I be happy about in my life today? And try, get yourself to come up with some answers for these. Get yourself to at least come up with three answers for each question. Another question you can ask yourself, what could I be proud of in my life right now? What could I be excited about in my life right now? What could I be proud of, or what, what could I be, what, what could I enjoy in my life right now? What could I be thankful for in my life today? And by asking these questions on a daily basis, that will, alt that will begin to shift your self-talk, that will begin to shift the thoughts in your mind, that will make them more positive, it will shift your beliefs, make them more positive, make your identity more positive, and therefore your entire life will change. If you're not getting the results in your life right now that you want, 
if your life isn't the way you want it to be right now, you have to first change the questions you're asking yourself on a daily basis. Because like I said, they're mostly, most of the time they're disempowering, right? We always think of the worst case scenario and we dwell on that. We have to focus on what we want and the best way to focus on what we want, a great way to make that easier is by asking ourselves empowering questions. What happens if this does work? What happens if I do run these ads and they do perform well? What happens if I am profitable? What happens if I change my life and it works? What happens if I do get my dream job? What happens if I do get the car of my dreams? What happens if I do have the relationship that I've always wanted? See, when you focus on those, when you focus on the opportunities of life, it's a lot more compelling and makes life more exciting than focusing on the limitations of life. So you have to focus on where you wanna go and it starts by asking questions, the right questions. So that's it is so important, guys. And another topic I wanna bring up is the power of presupposition. Most of the time, the reason why these questions are so destructive is they presuppose that we're doing something bad that we're not actually doing. For example, you may ask yourself in business, why do I always sabotage myself? Why do I always fail at business? Why do I never, why can I never seem to do anything right? When you ask yourself that question, like why do I always sabotage myself? That presupposes that you do sabotage yourself every single time and you have been doing that for your entire life. And that's not true. Just like same thing, for example, like why do I always feel stressed? That presupposes that you're always stressed 100% of the time in your life. When in reality, that's not true. You know it's not true. You've had happy moments in your life. You've had times where you were so grateful, so joyful, so vibrant, and just so euphoric that nothing else could compare. But because of this question, because of the presupposition behind it, it's made it feel like your whole life is destroyed. That, it's, that your whole life is not where you want it to be and that there's nothing you can do about it. So instead of having this presupposition control you, let's actually control the presupposition. Let's make presupposition our ally. So for example, if you, al if you always ask yourself, why do you always fail in business? Why does this never work? Ask yourself, how come I always succeed? Why do I always succeed? I ask myself these questions. All these things are from my own experiences. Like I would always ask myself such disempowering questions. A lot of these questions in the video are things that I used to ask myself for years, for years, over three years. And it was just longer than three years, really, my entire life in a way. And it just destroyed my confidence. It destroyed my happiness. I, I, I was so shy and so nervous a lot of the time. And it was not a good place to be. <laughs> But when I changed the questions I asked myself and used some of these empowering questions that I'm sharing with you now and doing that consistently every single day, it doesn't have to take long, but just a few times in the morning, a few times at night, that could really change your entire life and change how the things and the circumstances that you see, it can change your entire perception on reality. That's the biggest key. Questions change your perception on reality and make them more empowering. But most of the time we see things through a negative filter that makes it feel like life is happening to us. But life's not happening to you. It's happening for you. Life is happening to help you. It is not trying to destroy you. It's trying to help you. And questions control. Questions will help you see that as long as you ask the right, right questions. So how can I always succeed when I ask myself that? At first I got no answer. But for any of these questions, if you... If your brain says, <laughs> not, you know, if your brain doesn't give you an answer or says, I'm not successful, like, why are you asking me that? Continue to persist. When you continue to persist to ask these questions, you'll eventually get an answer. So keep persisting, even if it doesn't work the first time or the second time or the third time, keep persisting and you will find an answer. Remember, your brain has to give you an answer to whatever question you ask, even if it has to make something up. So even if it has to make something up, might as well make it more empowering, might as well make it help you rather than hurt you. So how come I always succeed when I ask myself that? You know, I didn't get an answer at first, but then a couple times later, I realized it's because I never give up. That's what my brain said. It said, I always succeed because I never give up. I said, okay, great, awesome. How else? How come I always succeed? And I got another answer. It was like, you always succeed, or I always succeed because... I'm resilient, doesn't matter what life throws at me, I'm able to bounce back from it and overcome it. 
Even though it may not happen as fast as I want it to, I still find a way to overcome the obstacles and grow from it and become a better person as a result. And so by asking yourselves these questions, these can change your life, like I said. And this is so important, guys. So important because it shapes your reality, it shapes your thoughts, it shapes your beliefs, it shapes your entire experience of life. Because we never see life as it is. I don't know what life is. I don't know what the truth is in anything. But I know what the truth is through my frame of reference. And your frame of reference is determined by the questions you ask yourselves. So going back to empowering questions, if there's something that's so hard for you to do, or it just seems so difficult in your mind, like, oh my gosh, I gotta do this huge thing, and I don't even know where to start, it just feels so overwhelming, right? You can ask yourself, how can I make this even more fun and even easier than it is now? And by, by asking yourself that, that presupposes that that thing is already easy, it's already fun, and you're just making it even easier and even more fun to do. So whether that's working on your business or whether that's working on something for your job or working on your relationship, working if you're, or whether you're reading something or whatever, if you ask yourself, how can I make this even easier and even more fun than it is now? That will give you empowering answers. That will give you answers that will actually make it easier to do in your life. So for example, like for me, for the gym, like if you guys work out, you guys know how some days you don't feel like doing it. I realized I got to that point to where I was just, I just did not want to go to the gym. I asked myself, okay, why is that? Like, why don't we want to go to the gym? And it was because my workouts would be like over an hour long, like six, seven, eight, 10 exercises at a time. And it'd just be like four sets of 10 for each one. And it would just take so long. It just felt like it was a drag, you know? It felt like that, like, like, have you guys ever done an exercise and it just felt like you're just doing it for the reps just to check off, okay, I did them, instead of truly going all in and being, you know, having an intense workout, a great workout. Well, that was the case for me. I, I would basically, I would stop after like 10 reps, even though I could probably have done 15 or 20. I just stopped because, well, that's what the number said. And I wanted to get to the next exercise because I had like six more to go and it was already 20 minutes. And so I realized, okay, I have to change this. So I asked myself, like, how can I make this even easier and even more fun than it is now? And I, after a few times, I got the answer. I realized that, hey, I, I don't need to do like 10 exercises in one workout session. Let's just, let's just start with two. Let's do two. Let's do like three sets of eight, three sets of 10, whatever. And let's just do that. And just, let's just focus on the intensity of the exercises instead of, trying to do all these things at once. You know, we don't need to do like 60 sets in one workout session, even if you only do like 10, then that's fine. That's better, it's better to have more intense workouts in a shorter time frame than have a longer dragged out workout where you don't even want to do it. And that's not that productive. So by asking myself that empowering question, that allowed me to enjoy going to the gym more. It allowed me to get a better workout in, become healthier, more fit. And it just made the whole process that much more enjoyable. And it was exciting to go. I didn't feel like it was a hassle or a chore to go anymore. So do this with everything in your life. Ask yourself always, like, how can I make this easier? How can I make this even more fun? Because whatever question you ask yourself, like I said, you'll get an answer for. And Whenever you, pre whenever you ask yourself these things, how can I make it even easier? You want everything to be easier in your life, right? Who doesn't want things to be easier? So, and you can make things easier. You can make anything easy. As long as you ask yourself the right question. So that's the end of this video, guys. I hope this video finds you well. Like I said, guys, try this out. Just ask yourself like three questions, three empowering questions in the morning and at in the evening time right before you go to bed it could be like what are three things i'm grateful for what are three things i'm happy about in my life right now and challenge yourself to come up with answers new answers every day if possible but at least just practice asking yourself these questions every day and they will truly transform your life they will change how you see the world and they will change how you feel on a daily basis you'll begin to feel better you'll begin to feel less stressed 
and more happy and more grateful and more abundant as a result. So hope this video finds you well, guys. Let me know down below if this helped you in any way. And please let me know what videos you guys would like to see from me in the future. And I will do my very best to make that happen for y'all. Make sure to subscribe for more. Click that notification bell so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have a fantastic day.